The basic Hello World program in Java hasn't changed at all since the language debuted almost 30 years ago. But some awesome new changes are coming in a new Java version set to release later this year that will change Java's Hello World forever. In fact, it'll change how you code virtually every single small Java program you write for the rest of your life. You're going to want to give it a try immediately. My name's John, and I'm a lead Java software engineer. I also have a full Java course available in a link down in the description. There you'll find over eight hours of exclusive Java video lessons covering dozens of topics. Go check it out. If you've been coding in Java for more than about 14 seconds, you know what a basic Hello World program looks like. You've probably seen it hundreds of times. First, you have to declare your class. So public class, hello world. And then within that class, you have to declare your main method. And that main method has to be public static void main. And it has to take in a parameter of a string array that we call args. And then finally, after all of that, you can add your print statement. And of course, that's system.out.println, hello world. By now, you probably know that all by heart, right? But do you remember what all that was like when you were first learning Java? Someone sitting down to learn Java or to learn programming at all who just wants to write some basic code, they're going to think, what the heck even is all this? Like, why do I have to declare a class? And what is this public, static, void, main, and string args? Is this even English? It's a whole lot of different concepts and terminology thrown at you all at once. And it can easily overwhelm a beginner and make them want to quit before they even get started. Luckily, someone over at Java Land thought the same thing, and they're finally going to do something about it. Java 21, that'll be releasing later this year, will introduce some changes that'll get rid of a ton of unnecessary clutter here and make all of this way easier for beginner programmers or even experienced programmers like me who don't want to have to bother writing this all out every time we make any small program. Let's go through exactly what those changes are. You probably know that all of your Java code has to be enclosed in classes. But when you're first learning to code, most of the time, all of your code is going to be in one single file anyway. And in that case, what the class is doesn't really matter at all. And the folks putting Java together thought, you know what, you're right, let's get rid of it. Java will no longer require a class declaration when it's not needed. That does mean that you can't refer to this class from any other classes. But for small programs like this, you never need to anyway. And you can still declare other fields and methods inside of this file like you normally would. But the next thing is the big one, this whole public static void main string args that everyone loves to hate. I'll just cut to the chase on this one. It no longer needs to be public, so you can get rid of that. It also no longer has to be static, so you can get rid of that too. Then maybe the best part, you can now completely omit this string array parameter. Java won't require it anymore. So now your whole main method is just void main open close parentheses. Pretty awesome. With this upcoming version of Java, what it will do is look for the right main method to start your program. It'll start by checking for the whole, you know, traditional public static void main string array args. And if you have that, it will use it. But if you don't have that, it will look for a public static void main without the string args parameter. And then so on and so forth, all the way down to just void main until it identifies a main method that it can use. After this change, Java's Hello World program, or any other small program that you're going to write, is much more focused on what the program actually does and removes all these other more complicated concepts that are just not relevant to the thing that you're trying to code. Once I saw this myself, I immediately wanted to install this new version of Java and take it for a spin. However, Java 21 isn't coming out until September, and even then, in Java 21, these features are just preview features. And that makes it a little bit tougher to try out. So we're going to go over how you can do this yourself on your own computer right now. Now, the first thing you're gonna to have to do is install this new version of Java. Since Java 21 hasn't come out yet at the time of this recording, you're gonna to have to download an early access build. You can find the link to that down in the description, but it's just jdk.java.net slash 21. And then down here in the builds section, Download the build that corresponds to your operating system. I'm using Windows, so I'll download the Windows version. After that finishes downloading, you have to pick somewhere to extract the contents of that file. Now, if you're a programmer, I trust that you have the ability to do that on your own. So I extracted Java 21 into just C program files Java. So this is where I extracted that, JDK 21. 
Now I'm running Windows, so in my case, after I have this extracted, I need to tell Windows that when I run Java commands, that's where I want it to look. So to do that, I have to set an environment variable. So just search for environment variables, edit the system environment variables, and then click environment variables here. And then down here, I want to edit my path variable. Click edit. Now what you want to do is add an entry here that goes to that JDK21 that you just extracted. And technically it has to go to the bin directory underneath it. So in my case, it's just C, program files, Java, JDK21, bin. And if you have another JDK in your path somewhere, you'll either need to get rid of it or just change it to this one. Anyway, then you just hit OK and OK again. Now, since these new features are only available as a preview in an early access build of Java, the IDEs haven't really caught up to this yet which you've probably noticed by all the angry red lines here in IntelliJ. Even though I've installed Java 21 and I'm telling it to use preview features, it still thinks there's all kinds of syntax errors here. So for our own sanity, we're going to do this old school with notepad and a command line. So just go to a folder where you want to create your new Java file. So here I've created a folder under my C drive just called test Java 21. So in this folder, I can just right click and go to new, and then text document. So here's where you're going to create your Java source file. So how about let's call this new hello world. And instead of dot text, we'll call it dot Java. And then we'll go ahead and open this up in notepad. And in here we'll write our new way more awesome, more concise version of hello world. So all we need is void main, open close parentheses, open the curly brackets, and then system dot out dot print line, hello world and then close the curly brackets, hit Control S to save, and that should be it. Now we have to compile this file and run it to make sure that this actually works. So to do that, let's go back to the folder where we created this Java file, and we're gonna right click, and we wanna open this folder in the command line. So in Windows 11 here, I'm gonna to go to open in terminal, but there's probably you know an open in command line or open in PowerShell or whatever the equivalent is on your computer. So I'll just hit open in terminal. Now, usually to compile Java files in the command line, all you need to do is write Java C space and then the name of your Java file. So in this case, that would be new hello world dot Java. However, in this case, because it's an early access version and we want to use the preview features of this version of Java, there's a little bit more that we have to do in order to get that to work. So right after Java C, we have to say dash dash release 21 and then another dash dash enable dash preview to enable the preview features. And then go ahead and hit enter to compile. And this is good, we didn't get any errors or anything. We did, however, get a note that says that new hello world.java uses preview versions of Java SE 21. Once you run that command and you successfully compile the file, back over in the directory where you have this file, you should now have a new hello world.class file. That's what it compiles into. Now the next step is to run that class file. Again, normally to run your code, all you have to do is type Java space the name of your class. So new hello world. But again, in this case, because we're using preview features, there's just a little bit more to it. After Java, we'll add dash dash enable dash preview. And that should be it. So now when we hit enter, it should run our new hello world program and tell us hello world. Let's give it a try. And it does. So that's pretty awesome, right? We now have a brand new version of Hello World that gets rid of the class declaration and gets rid of the public, static, and the string array args parameter. And we're left with this nice, concise, crisp program that doesn't have any extra bloat and is so much easier for a beginner to understand. Now remember, I noted before that IntelliJ still shows all of these errors here, right? It doesn't think that this is valid syntax. But I do have it configured to use Java 21 and to use the preview features of Java 21. So oddly enough, when I give it the command to actually compile and run this program, it does so successfully just fine. So because this is a preview feature, it's still a little clumsy to use and the IDEs just haven't caught up to it yet. But that's fine, they will. I'm really curious to see what all of you think about this change. Like for you experienced programmers out there, do you like this or do you like having all of the ceremony and extra complexity around that whole structure? And especially to you beginners out there, I'm curious if seeing this makes you 
breathe a big sigh of relief that all that extra stuff is gone. There's also some other really cool features coming up in Java that I hope to tell you about as well. Till then, be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it or if you learned something, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss each new Java video. As always, thank you so much for being here with me, especially to experience this historic Java change. See you next time.